Hey guys, welcome back. It's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Let me just get in here a little bit. Just topping off my lettuce here. Hope you're all doing well. Today is Sunday. Grow Indoors 365 day. <laughs> every day, every day in 365, growing indoors is literally every single day. Got my carrots here, hydroponic carrots. Got my lettuce here, brand new batch of lettuce. Three different styles of lettuce. Can't give you the names off the top of my head, but I but I will maybe in the description or in a later episode. We got some mint. We got my watermelon hydroponic. We got my other tent right there. We'll go into that in a second. See what's going on. Well, if you're new here and you just found the channel, guys, my name is Mike. I am a indoor grow farmer. I'm a hydroponic grower. I am a, a just overall indoor farmer. I tend to grow whatever I can indoors. I like to focus on lettuce, things that I consume most. This is my setup here. We got my tents, we got your shelving, you got your reservoirs, palm tubing, everything. If you want a setup like this, make sure to hit the links down below. They are all right down below. If you want the lights, the setup, and everything else right in here, I got everything right down below. Just hit show more, and all the links are right there. Now, uh, you know, I love when the weather starts to get nice. I get very excited because this year I am definitely going to be maintaining some outdoor stuff. I'm actually really excited to see how that's all going to work out. I've never really tried to grow inside, but as you can see here, look at this. We start over here and we're going to flow down this way and it keeps on going and it's starting to climb the wall. That's my indoor hydroponic watermelon. That's right, guys. If you've ever grown watermelon before, I'm doing it hydroponically. I need some more water right there, but there is no dirt here, just liquid nutrients and beautiful greenery. Now, I'm kind of having some trouble here, okay? I have extensive growth, but no flowering. Hmm, what happened to the flowers? I really don't know because if you guys skipped to the previous episode, if you saw the previous episode, I showed you guys what my other watermelon looks like now this is two water watermelon plants here I don't even know what is going on here which one is one which one is number two I really have no idea and this is some of my mint which is like the most gorgeous mint ever it's orange mint it smells unbelievable every time I touch it I just I literally just keep it there for I don't even know I just like smelling it it's an incredible scent so help me out here guys I know that see I'm running regular T5s here, okay? And obviously a certain spectrum will produce flowering much quicker and more efficiently, but this one is not it because all I'm seeing is budding everywhere. Okay? Now stuff is looking good. It's definitely looking good. But where are my flowers? Where are my flowers that I need to manually pollinate? I mean, this looks like, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? What is that? Please, wait a second, please tell me that's like a little watermelon that's in an original state of being becoming a watermelon. That would be incredible. Wait, that, wow, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. That is. Wait, can I get some focus on that? Do you guys see this? Oh my God. I found one, come on. Please focus. Gosh, sorry guys. I'm really trying to have it focus for me here, but it's just not working. Let me see if I can zoom into it. I can't even zoom into it. Why is it doing this to us? Anyway, if you can see it from right here, then you can see it from right there. Okay? That is legit a little watermelon. Holy moly wait this is insane there's gonna be a flower there it's going to flower wait liar if you guys have grown watermelon before is that the female that is actually having the little watermelon bulb at the bottom of it obviously I'm guessing it's not the male how do you differentiate watermelon male flowers to female flowers so that they pollinate properly Holy crap, I'm super stoked about that. I actually have 
a potential watermelon a bulb right there. That is awesome. But I'm looking at the other ones here, and none of them have a little bulb with a little watermelon guy like that. Wait, this is going to be nuts. Are you guys kidding me? Like, when this gets going, and there's like watermelons just chilling on the floor here, this is going to be insane. My question is, why is that one all the way down there, but I don't really have any like around here? Does the stem need to grow to a certain degree prior to budding? What does it look like? Holy crap, but the thing is, that one right there, you can actually see on that little, on that little bulb. Let me see if I could focus in from here. Nope, still like super not focusing. But it's got like little stripes on it. <laughs> it's got little stripes on it. That's incredible. I Now I'm like excited. I am super excited. What's going on there? Anything good? Wow, if you're educated on watermelon growing, if it's outdoor, if it's indoor, please let me know what I should expect. I mean, this vine is going to get probably much larger. I'm going to have to figure out, just like, kind of like let it take over the space. I'm not even worried about this mint, honestly. I'm not worried about it. I want my watermelons to grow. I actually want to go back and see when I started this. I'm not going to be able to put that information. Maybe I'll just put it down at the bottom the date that I started germinating because I made a video of it and the date that I put everything into the uh, into the reservoir this will give me a broader understanding of the time frame to get to this and uh, what I should expect when putting something like that outdoors wow I am so stoked this is incredible anyway I just came in my carrots need like significant help there's like no water there but look I got a carrot it looks much prettier and much more colorful <laughs> on the uh, on the screen. It smells like carrots and just funk, but I mean, look at this scary thing. Look at that thing. What happened there? It just got all knotted up. All, ugh. Let me tell you, these carrots have not a lot of time left. Okay? I'm going to nurture them for literally like maybe another like 15 20 days it's already been past like maybe 10 days since the last said that it's going to be that because what do i got here 6 12 12 uh 16 17 18 19 20 21 29 okay so 9 18 so theoretically i should have three reservoirs set up across here for what i got going on here and i'm willing to do that so this is going to have to go bye bye and because I need some of my fresh lettuce, I'm sick and tired of going to the grocery store. Even though it's a few dollars for that lettuce, that stuff is so grimy. I mean, like, I'm going to the supermarket, I'm looking at the lettuce, I'm looking inside. I, I always look at the produce, because produce is crazy. The more and more you educate yourself on how far produce goes, how many times it's been frozen over and over again, you realize that the stuff is not frozen. It is actually disgusting organic or not I, I don't know where it's been i don't know who stepped on it i don't know which rat shit on it i really don't know you know what i mean so that's why i like setting up my own stuff that's why i like growing my own stuff okay it's freaking awesome i'm actually really excited there's two actually local growers here that have like small farms and i am super 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 stoked on probably the next like two weeks i'm gonna visit them and I'm not going to put it on camera, but I'm going to visit them just to discuss on potentially helping them out and learning from them on to how to go about, you know, farming on their small piece of land. Maybe they'll give us some tips and we'll do a small interview. We'll look over their crops. Like I'm 100%, 110% doing that. Um, so I'm very excited about that. But this is really what's going on here in this, in this growth situation. I mean, everything's looking good. Now, if I actually take us right over here I might have to turn this light off because the light is just crazy or, or not let me give you a quick look with the light on all right I'm really not into that light but let me um let's take a look at this here this is the current watermelon plant this is the little cat this is gambit Always trying to eat everything. God. Let's see what we got here. We got significant flowering, but look up look at this. Look how dinky and small this thing is. I mean like look at that. 
That's nothing. That is a joke. Also, it's just... Let me see here. I can't even get a decent close-up for whatever reason. My camera just doesn't want to give it to us. But let me see if it has any promise. I mean, I got... I got a flower there. And that's definitely a male. Look at this. God, why? Stop it. Why is my camera not... Okay, there we go. It's focused in. You see that inside? That's definitely the male form of a plant's genitalia. You would take this and put it into the female. If you don't know anything about that and you're too young, please discuss this with your parents. Um, these plants are so dinky. It's unbelievable. I mean, uh, example A. <laughs> example B. I mean, the other plant is like this much of this plant. That's crazy. This is so much healthier, so much larger, but it's weird. How do you find the in-between? How do you find the quality of... These flowers aren't even that significant. I thought they were like a lot crazier, but now that I look at it, it's like not that big of a deal. I mean, we have some like decent kind of growth, but the leaves are so small. I mean, this is crazy. I'm definitely going to be taking this... Um, outside when it's due I mean honestly guys like can we come to a conclusion already I'm taking the carrots can we can you please not eat that please you're gonna get sick and it's just annoying go well uh, can we come to the conclusion that unfortunately wow I mean this is just crazy look at these carrots they're just like weak okay I'm sorry guys LED this light, I mean, I'm going to have to get this switched out from from my description of some of the stuff that I want you guys to uh, to hit on the list because it's just not working out. I don't, I can't recommend it if I'm not going to use it. I just can't recommend that light. It's just, it's just not that great. But holy moly. Guys, this lavender. Woo! Wow. Let me, let's see this guy smell it. See what he does. That is hilarious. He's not into it at all. But the lavender is looking good. Oh God, I really, again, I want to see how long it's taken for this lavender. Also, if you guys know, does lavender come back like year round or does it stay in full bloom year round? I mean, like I do, I'm on the East Coast and there are winters here. So I'm just wondering, but this is, this is what I'm getting guys from the LED light. Okay, I mean, it's a, it's a fairly good light. It covers a decent amount of space. If you guys remember, look, I'm going to turn it on. I don't even like looking at it. I mean, look, the entire area is, is, is lit up well enough. I mean, God, I'm so not into looking at that thing. It's ridiculous. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm happy, but I'm not sure if in the time span that it's supposed to be only this high. Maybe it should be higher. I have no idea, but... Smells freaking, it smells awesome, first of all. This is lavender. But I want to be planting this stuff outside, so I'm pretty excited. But again, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. We're already at almost, I don't even know, 13, 14 minutes. Uh, mint's doing good. I'm going to have to start chopping that up and doing something with it. Maybe some, some smoothies or something. I don't even know. I would wish I had some watermelon. Can you imagine watermelon with a hint of like lime with some chopped up orange mint on it? If you guys have never done that, it's unbelievable. i never done it, but I already know it's a game changer because I've put a little lime on a watermelon. It was insane, and I can only imagine the sweetness of that, what it would do. Carrots, you guys are going to see another video upcoming when this is already going to be set up. As soon as it roots, as soon as this stuff roots, I'm going to be setting it up across the entire uh, entire shelf here. And that's what I, that's what I really want in, in this tent. I, I want... Probably a, a, a new two-tier, just like this is going to be two-tier, of oh, just lettuce. All right, just lettuce and maybe some sort of herbs. I'm not sure which, but uh, so many, I'm, I'm so excited for this summer. It's going to take work. It's going to, I have to get motivated to do it, but it's going to be great because I already have one thing built that I wanted to uh, grow produce last year. I just never got a chance to do it, but this year is a new year and a new me. <laughs> and a lot more of you guys to motivate me to do the things that we need to do to self-sustain and get things going like this. 
I'm gonna make another video on some survival stuff like uh, you know maintaining a grow like this but also utilizing like wind turbines I mean have we thought about that this is all dandy and everything but you know what I just had a crazy winter like several weeks of crazy power outages this stuff is this stuff is not doing well when it's not getting its light when it's not getting its oxygen this stuff doesn't do well but what if we had the ability to utilize Earth's wind to have a turbine provide the power for some of these lights that we really need and to really maintain the grows that we, we, we want to grow? Okay, that's, that's going to be cool because that is really considered self-sufficient. Okay, when you are not uh, you know, requiring the support of... Um, when you're not requiring the support of your house providing electricity or the government providing electricity or the township providing electricity, self-sustained survival abilities utilizing Earth's winds for turbine electricity and being able to somehow produce the electricity even for one light, one single light and one single row or one light, one single reservoir that will give you something. You know what I mean? One lettuce head is better than zero. If you all agree, give me the thumbs up. Make sure to hit subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications every single time I upload a video. This is Mike with Grow Indoors 365. If you want to maintain a grow like me, if you want to have a cat like that, make sure to hit the links down below. I'm not selling any cats, <laughs> but those are all the cool links that I found um, down below for everything that I currently use. Um, hit those up, order this stuff. So, God, I really want to hear from you guys. The, hey. The Facebook channel is growing. We're almost at 100 likes. I know that's not a lot. That's nothing. But it's still cool to start seeing people giving photos, the thumbs up, giving smiles, and engaging in conversation in regards to what they currently have and other people currently have a setup and what kind of lights they're using and where they got their reservoir and what type of seeds that they're using and how long things took and how are they able to sustain the grow. It's freaking amazing, and that's exactly what I wanted from that Facebook uh, fan page or whatever I have. And every time you guys post something, I have to like go into the back end and like hit something and then it shows up on my wall. But that's really it. Guys, I'm gonna cut it here. Thank you all so much. I hope you have an amazing upcoming week. Make sure you're growing indoors. Make sure to subscribe and hit the links down below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.